welding here. And one thing you'll notice that I put on there is to look for a mirror finish. If it looks cloudy, you probably just don't have enough heat. All right, put another message there to uh, just dip to the front of the puddle. Uh, try to keep that tungsten within a good, I don't know, eighth of an inch off that puddle. And if you bring that filler rod in at a low angle, uh, then you'll have no problem uh, with contaminating your tungsten. That way you're not worried about stabbing the tungsten and contaminating your actual weld and having to stop, grind your tungsten, clean the metal, so on and so forth. Uh, so as you take a look at these videos, you can see uh, this is just a basic butt weld. And the reason that I really like this project, especially for my Welding 2 students, which is where they first are introduced to TIG welding, uh, we do cover stick mig and TIG in this class, but there's a line there because we're doing a butt weld. So we don't do a whole lot of butt welds in our classes other than our qualification classes where we're actually you know, doing a, a test based on code specs. We're doing a visual and we're bending, but this one, this project is a great butt weld because you can see the joint. And so really it just gives our students a line to actually follow. Uh, as you can see in this video right here, I uh, did not put enough weight on the actual part or anything probably. And because they're small coupons, they do uh, distort pretty easily and they started to rock. You'll see in one of the later videos, uh, it happens again. It was just from a different angle. Uh, so I had a little bit of a moving target there, which uh, I guess could be good practice, you know, trying not to contaminate when you got metal flopping around on the table. So if you take a look here, it's a little bit better view. And just trying to keep that puddle the same size. So I'm looking for those toes to be straight. And just, uh, you know, move, dip, move, dip, and just dip right to the front of that. Now, what's different about aluminum is the fact that you actually have to uh, control your foot pedal. Whereas when I teach TIG to the beginners, um, I'll tell them just to set their machine to a specific amperage because it's a lot easier. They can just hammer down, take one of the uh, moving parts out of the equation. Uh, but here it just doesn't work that way. The uh, thermal conductivity of aluminum is about three times or more that of steel or even possibly stainless. Uh, so that heat is moving quickly through that plate and it will beat you to the end of that plate. So. Um, maybe you need a little more heat to start. Once you get it going, you might back off just a tad. And then as you get near that last inch or so, uh, you have to start to taper off that pedal. Otherwise that heat's gonna build up too much. And your weld, you'll notice it, you'll see it as you're welding. Uh, you'll see the contour actually start to sink and it'll look flat. So you don't really have any of that uh, convexity or reinforcement uh, there uh, that you can you can see it starts to sink and actually if you just keep welding that same temp look at the back of it you're gonna find out where your weld went it actually is gonna go through and pop out on the back side here's another image you could see here that I uh, definitely am hitting a moving target a little bit but not contaminating, luckily. I uh, just about an eighth of an inch off that base metal. It's not rocking too much where it's, it's contaminating or anything like that. Uh, but just uh, a great beginner project. I have my students go ahead and tack up five coupons. They're about two inches by five inches. And uh, tack up five of them, it'll give you four joints. It's a great way to save metal and, and just have them all ready to go. And just start going at it. The more you do this, the better you're gonna get. That's the, the whole point of this. Uh, nothing makes me happier than to not see my students come out of their booth. Stay in there, I tell them don't come up for air, just burn, 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 grab as much rod as you need in a day. You know, grab 30 rods. If you don't use them all, put them back. But if you use them all, that means you're getting better. So that's it, aluminum butt weld.